What's the actual difference? So when we're looking at the data bandwidth or transfer, then Thunderbolt 4 is 40 gigabits per second, but Thunderbolt 5 is 80 gigabits per second, but it can boost to 120 gigabits per second, which means that if you've got large displays, for example, and you want to send data out and you don't need to get any data back, you can kind of steal some of the getting data back lanes out of the 80 and push them to the sending so you can send or receive kind of 120 gigabits per second kind of boost bandwidth, which is really clever. Not necessarily always 120 gigabytes per second, if that makes sense. Now the PCIe lane speed has been upgraded from PCI Gen 3X4 to PCI Gen 4X4. Display output, a massive thing. Now, previously it was one 8K display at 60 Hertz or two 4K at 60 Hertz. Now we have two 8K at 60 Hertz or three 4K at 144 Hertz. The display port version was 1.4, now it's 2.1. The power delivery is up to 100 watts for Thunderbolt 4, but on Thunderbolt 5 up to 240 watts. And in essence, these are the basic differences of Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5. So you might be checking out some of the new stuff that's coming out and everyone's talking about like Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5, Docs, and you know, WWDC, there's other things Apple's announcing and talking about Thunderbolt 5, more expansions, Thunderbolt 